now we are in the beginning of uh, our day trip. Uh, we are entering the Andrews National Forest. This is in the beginning of uh, Highway 138, um, north of uh, LA County, um, just off the Highway 15. Now we turn to Highway uh, State Route uh, 2. It's a uh, um, highway, mountain highway, only two, two lane. You can see the very scenic uh, highway. Now uh, we are in a ski area. You can see the kids are uh, skiing down slope. Now uh, this is the uh, north slope of the Andrews National Forest. You don't see this uh, on the southern side, on the, in the Los Angeles uh, side, but this is the back side of the uh, forest uh, mountain. So you can see the, the he heavy snow. It's almost um, a week past the snowfall. You can still see it's a ski area, not very far from the city. You can see the pine trees uh, here are very nice. You see that one on top of the hill? Very nice, pretty. Wow, oh, beautiful pine here. This is a pass you can see it's like glacier on the side. I can't believe this is in Los Angeles. Only half an hour away from our home. Hi everybody, this is Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. I'm now at uh, the uh, Andrews National Forest. This uh, place is called Inspiration Point Vista. I come here to get the inspiration for a snowy landscape. You can see you very nice this. Let me take a picture. You can see the temperature is pretty warm here. It's only about 40, maybe 50. But uh, on the ground, there's snow. Very heavy snow we had about a week ago. Hi everybody. I'm at uh, mountain top of uh, Andrews National Forest. In the front uh, of me is a nice uh, pine tree. It reminds me of uh, the welcome pine, famous welcome pine of the Yellow Mountain in China. Uh, you can see the nice shape, the extended arm of the branches, like a uh, welcome the guest. We always paint um, elements of a uh, landscape in uh, while we are traveling in the scene. Later on we will do a composition with those elements. It's important to get the feeling in the field. You can see the snow on the ground. I suppose they, there's snow on the tree also when, uh, a week ago. 
so I'm going to leave some quiet. And you can always uh, change your viewpoint, not just limited to the uh, eye level. You, you, as you imagine you're flying and uh, have a bird's eye view of the mountain behind the tree. So I'm not limited to the camera view. <laughs> there is the ridge of the mountain. So I just got a, got a sketch here. Uh, the brush I'm using is a water brush. So I, I uh, got water in the reservoir and I use the black water color so you can see I can just dub the color The paper I'm using is uh, mulberry rice paper. It's not that much uh, bleeding, you can see. It's very good for watercolor. No landscape, we need to wash the sky and leave the clouds. It will turn lighter after it dries. You can see how nice this uh, mulberry paper interacts with the uh, watercolor. After mounting, it will show off more. I got some moisture oh. there. Some hey. Highlight the accent, the leaves on the pine needles. So I add more details to the pine tree. Um, anyway, I'm we ran out of time, we have to keep uh, going. So this is uh, just a, a re 
reminder when I pinch at home the feeling I had. So it's good not just take photos, but do something when you are uh, outdoor. So this brush gives you a very good uh, tour to, to do that when you travel.